Hello everyone, welcome back to Prince Persia Two Thrones. Ah, spikes. Yeah, haven't missed those. She. It's only a matter of time before you ran into them. Everybody in these games. Oh no. Oh, this looks terrible. Why do ev why does why does everyone put these in their palaces? Like seriously, what the heck. Oh my god, this looks terrible. Ow, it still got me. I anticipated it too much. Ah! And it's just gonna kill me. Great, I didn't know there was a wall there. This is gonna sound really weird, but it looked like the hallway continued. I, seriously. <laughs> I, I know that's gonna sound bizarre, but. Ugh. No, but seriously, like. Somebody somewhere made a fortune of, of or, like, off of installing all of these traps for people in their palaces. Like, seriously. <laughs> Ugh. Jeez. Oh, Prince. What I wouldn't give for some slow time abilities. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Ish. Phew! Excellent. Uh, uh. <laughs> Was not fast enough. You couldn't I couldn't change direction quickly enough when I realized these were spike spikes. <laughs> it was one of those like, oh crap moments, and I couldn't I couldn't do anything. Oh jeez. Uh, I don't like this. Okay, cool. I have to say, this palace is very cool. What? What am I clinging on to? Oh. Okay. I was like, what? <laughs> Stab the what? Pay attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay attention. I'm going to save at this fountain though first. So I could have ended the last video right here. Is this where I should resume the tale? Good. I just didn't know it was that close. You never can tell with this game. Sometimes it's like forever to a fountain and sometimes it's like right there it's around the corner there it is lots of guards fun Wonder where oh I see a I see a plate over here. Yeah. Oh man. My nose is kinda running a little bit. It's just like sinus. I don't know, I've just I've been having sinus problems. Or something. Something like that. I don't even know. I hear people talking, but I can't hear what they're saying.
Sorry, I'm being quiet because I'm. In case you guys can hear what they're saying. Something about nothing can stand between me and my desire. I took. I took his throne. I, I don't know. Something. I did not mean to throw that. I keep hitting circle because I want to roll. And you don't roll with circle in this game. <laughs> yeah, so I keep trying to dodge, basically. Yeah, and something about I took his. I took his throne. Look at the look at the feathers! Ah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I could only hear snatches of it. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go down here. I think I'm supposed to go down here. Oh. Not sure. I wonder why he took his knife out earlier. I was like, what's he? There we go. Let me take your sword, please, because I keep throwing mine at people. <laughs> Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. You got a nice palace. This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! Vizier. Ah, you must be the Prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. I believe I have something of yours. No! Give what I have done, wherever you are. Oh, heck yeah, we can rewind time. So, uh, yeah, um, the 
yeah. Um, we now have the Dagger of Time. Um, so that's something. But yeah, uh, the... The person there, of course, is the Vizier from... Uh, from the first... From Sands of Time. Um, the one who was... Uh, trying to get the dagger of time to begin with um, in in that game um, trying to figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go because I don't remember I don't see anywhere oh oh I see it um, yeah, so basically what happened, I'm sure you've figured this, you've already figured this out, but, uh, basically what happened was in the sands of time, of course, the, the, the prince, well, not the prince, um, oh yeah, here's a fountain. So, in the Sands of Time, basically, Persia attacked the Maharaja's palace in India. The Maharaja had, um, basically had the Sands of Time. Had found them in the hourglass and had them in his palace. And the, the, Ma the, the advisor who worked for him basically was like, yeah, here. <laughs> Here's how to get him. Here's what you do, um, and betrayed, betrayed him basically to the Persians, right? And then, because the whole point was he was after the sands, but then of course you had the prince who had the dagger and he tricked him into unleashing them and all this and the prince ended up stopping him. Well, in this timeline, the prince basically went back and prevented the sands from being created. Therefore, the Maharaja never found them because they weren't there to be found um so they they didn't they didn't exist in the hourglass anymore in that form for the maharaja to find so instead he he attacked persia the, the advisor presumably i don't know we don't know what happened with the maharaja we don't know any of that yet um Ah, and attacked Persia instead. And so now the sands have been created here. Like the dagger exists, which is interesting, but not the hourglass itself. So arguably this is kind of worse than what happened in the sands of time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's just interesting, but basically the prince changed. Changed all of this. But didn't think about the fact that the... Whoops. The vizier still wanted the sands. Still was interested in that power. Only this time he came to Persia to get it. Instead of... Instead of India. Essentially. Something like that. <laughs> you guys probably get it. You're like, yeah, we don't need you to explain it to us. Not that time. <laughs> he wouldn't move! <laughs> he won't... What? What the F? He won't move! <laughs> So you notice how he just stands there, right? I jump. Okay, there we go. God, he wouldn't he wouldn't move sideways. Now we're back to crumbling palaces like we were in Sands of Time because the sands have been unleashed. Yeah. It's just this whole thing's a mess.
and yeah, arguably it is it is the prince's fault. Sort of, like not completely, but the way things are happening now, because the way things they happened in the sand of time was how they were supposed to happen, I guess, and then I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's fun. I love stuff that messes with time. It's really interesting to me. Maybe why I like these games so much. Shall I continue my story from good? This is a fine place to start the tale next time. More will make sense as you go to we kind of uncover more secrets. Probably should have more than three save slots. Then I have time to actually go in and edit videos and make sure nothing went wrong. That's the whole point of having multiple ones. This looks terrible. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, it wasn't so bad. So many spikes! <sighs> Kinda tense, not gonna lie. If I seem sort of like uncoordinated and not uh, talking very much or not, uh, I mean, whatever, it's because I'm like, I'm concentrating. Cause there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> Ow. Heck yeah. Ah. <laughs> I think I just jump. Oh, thank goodness. I really need to be better at blocking. There we go. I blocked. That was interesting. Okay, he's dead. Where did they- oh, there are doors here, okay. I was like... But there's a chest in front of it. I collected 10 sand credits. What does that mean? I still haven't looked it up. <laughs> Oh, because my sword is... Oh, man. Well, I'm not going back down there to get theirs, so... Uh, yeah, okay, I see. And jump and stab! Once more, the wheels of suffering are set in motion by my hand. In taking Kylina from the island of time, I have changed the course of history. Without the sands of time... I never journeyed to Azad, never killed the vizier. Now he lives again, driven by the same mad desire. I promised no harm would come to her. Yep. And there the prince laid out pretty succinctly what I was saying earlier. So yeah. Should I continue from here when you return? I will continue my story from here next time. All right, I think I'm going to call it here. It's been two kind of shorter videos in a row, but well. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I don't know if they went to Azad on purpose to get the sands of time the first time around or no, or not Azad to India. I don't know. But yeah, it is kind of interesting that, like, this is where events were. I, I don't know, I just find stuff like this interesting. It's like, because somebody, because he didn't go there and do this, because the events of the Sands of Time technically never happened. All of this other stuff is set in motion. Which is why I love his story arc so much, because the whole game is him, like, all of these games, the whole point is him trying to change his fate and change his fate and change his fate. Stop this from happening, blah, blah, blah. And he never sees past that goal to, like, see the larger picture. And then suddenly he hears this game and it's like, oh, oops. <laughs> he 
he doesn't stop to think about the consequences of his actions and it's like i don't know it's just neat i just i like it's cool character stuff i just like it I, it's good writing and i care about the prince like somebody commented on this on one of sands of time videos that it's like wow you know this game got me to care about these two people the prince and pharaoh in that case and it's like yeah it's kind of amazing but it's like it's just good writing like i care about the prince and i care about what happens to him and it's like ah, just good it's just good man <laughs> i love these games i wish ubisoft <sighs> i don't know i wish there were more but at the same time i'm like yeah but i don't want it to turn into what Assassin's Creed is now, which is just like, oh, new game every year. You know? Oh, well. Anyway, calling it there for tonight. Um, big chunk of story happened. Kind of know what's going on now. Kind of get where this game is, where, where everything's happening, where everything's fitting in. Pretty exciting. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. The, the, the wrap up to this whole kind of journey that started with Sands of Time. I'm so excited. I love this game. God, I love these. I love these games. <laughs> I'm so excited. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, and uh, yeah, till next time. Toodaloo.